Hey, Sean. Hey, how's it going? It's Levi. Hey, how's it going? All right. Huh? Oh, no, I'm going to be uh, doing an independent investigation. If you interfere, you'll have to come before the judge. If you don't have anything to hide, you don't have any reason to run. Get a conversation to, to get some, um, you know, equi equability. I, I don't know because you know when I take those calls, I just if they are germane to the conversation, they gotta talk. But if the caller that came after that was a little shorter than that was on the caller, it had nothing to do with us. So nice. I have no idea how to fix that. Dude. If you can't, if you can't get in. You can't get in. That has nothing to do with what we did. No, because you that's that's not call. that's not true. Now. Yes, it is true, Levi. Listen, I don't have time to sit here arguing with you, man. There's no conspiracy against you, dude. Hey, here I am. Hi. Can I help you? Excuse me. Can I help you? I uh, no, I don't think so. Sir, you can't call families without Really? I guess I'm an active shooter. I know you got other callers <laughs> there and you're running out of time. So let me say this. Peace be upon you all. Stay healthy. Have a better new year. And good box. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Clay, man. We appreciate it. Um, <laughs> he is on the head. Let me tell you. All right. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next caller. Caller number two, you're on air. Hello? Hey, good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Jason, how are you guys today? All right. All right, man. You, you didn't know that last call was a professional surfer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he surfed the m and wave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a couple uh, comments uh, I heard over the, uh, over the month um, I thought worth mentioning. Um, caller called in. He said, um, you know, I think the problem is that we're being programmed. And he, it's, it was a, it was a random caller, somebody driving by, and I think it might have been the other caller that said, um, "What we need is a forum." And so I just thought, you know, the irony, you know. Uh, <laughs> Which is what this is. Well, it's what this is. is. <laughs> you know, but as far as the um, African uh, American, um, when, when when we when we speak about these terms, I think it's important to include what other people uh, call, you know, uh, other cultures in, in, their, in, their, um, in their societies. Like, for example, you mentioned Cuba. Does Cuba, does Cuba call black um, Negro? I mean, I'm, I, I'm not making a joke. I'm just trying to figure out, like, in South America, Brazil, um, Europe, you know, in Africa, what, what, do they, what do they call, you know, do they call themselves black in their language? Like, that's something I've always been uh, curious about. You know, because, um, you know, what is America? I mean, you know, they say Canada is part of North America, but the Canada, Canadians don't like to call themselves Americans. Um, uh, uh, the people down in Guatemala call themselves Americans because they in South America, you know? I mean, the United States, I mean, really doesn't exist. It's, it's a facade, you know? It's, it's supposed to provide protection to the people. But the real power is in the state. And uh, you guys, I think, spoke about this statism. I didn't get to listen to the whole show. But when you examine it, like, the states are the ones that have a constitution. And if you try to, like, argue with a judge, for example, say, well, the United States Constitution says we have a right to jury, 
uh, anything exceeding $20, they'll tell you no. Um, right now, they suspended uh, speedy trials. You know, the state's supposed to have speedy trials, too. It's supposed to be on, uh, I think, the Sixth Amendment or whatever, the U.S. so-called Constitution. Uh, but, you know, the states uh, go about, you know, suspending these, these, these so-called, you know, rights. Uh, you want to defend yourself? Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, when they tell us we have rights, but when you exercise them, they obstruct you from doing so. Right, so right. I think a right should be something that everybody should have the ability to do. Um, you know, as far as, you know, the, 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 the so-called governor, I mean, this oppositional staging, you know, whatever he says, is usually he's 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 looking for opposite result results, and so if he's t telling people, you know, um, you know, you're being restricted from voting, really the result is people are gonna push back and they're gonna say, I'm gonna exercise my right, I'm not gonna let him do this to me. Um, it, 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 it also has you know has to do with the mask and the vaccine. You know, this is, this is a form of oppositional staging. You know, at this point, you can't trust what comes out of those ballots because the machines are digital and, and there's no way somebody can convince me a pedophile really had that many votes <laughs> by people around here you know i mean yeah you got a few people carrying some flags but they're not representative of, of the population as a whole in all 50 states um you know you can't trust that that man won that election um basically they want people to vote because it gives them legitimacy and they can put a, a few dark-skinned faces in power and give the appearance of progression. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the whole black versus white uh, really does divide people, in my mind, you know? <laughs> that um, the, the, the word black, you know, if you look it up, the primary definition is, is the color. <laughs> and in the scripture, in the Bible, you know, the word black and white is used to signify um, something evil or something good. You know, the white linen is used as a sign of purity. And so that's the primary definition of the word. So to use it to apply to people, in my opinion, is derogative. Somebody told me Malcolm Shabazz said something about this as well. Um, you know, I didn't actually read that, but it does set people up for a kind of classism or a caste day where the white scene you know, so-called white scene at the top. Um, but when you examine, like, in this in this so-called United States of America, the history obviously is tied to the, the African slave trade. And when you look at the plantations like Thomas Jefferson, you know, he called um, certain people a two-thirds human. But nevertheless, he fathered children with, like, Sally Hemings. For example, I think that's the name, the 14 year old. Yeah, Sally Hemings, yeah. Sure. So, would you consider her to be, like, do you think he considered her two thirds human? You know, I mean, it's on paper, but the reality is different. Like, we can assume. I mean, three, oh, three fifths. That's what you're talking about. When he took it to Paris, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, that was just right. all about voting power. Yeah. I mean, they just never wanted, even if you gave one man one vote. The black man could never have full voting rights because he was considered three fifths. Well, he was a woman, correct? That's true. I mean, white supremacy also tried to control women and still do, especially the white woman, and then claim they were protecting her honor whenever they committed acts of violence. So and, they could exploit and, um, anything. You know, my point is, Sally Hemings was treated better than George Floyd. And like when you look at um, like yeah. when you had made the comment um also a while ago saying, you know, white people think they split and you're talking about uh, Patrice Lumumba. You need to you know, in the Belgium. When you look at the pictures of him being tied up you see all those so called white ghost like faces in the distance. All the threats. But That's right there, one of the address. No. surrounding him, think I'm afraid of a jail cell? holding those chains, it's not about that. are people with this the same not color skin. Again, it was a power show. And you can go into the jail, 
And, then and you can go into the courthouses, and you're going to find people with that color skin that are doing the work of the oppressor. So, I mean, let's not pretend that because you look a certain way that somehow that makes you right.